reigning G League Player of the Week. Sock got himself in trouble there. Had to just kick it out, and it's stolen by Windy City. Two on nothing. Break in the big throwdown for Dalen Terry. That's the easiest bucket he's going to get tonight. Dalen Terry's got to be more alert so he can make that uh, slide over on the defensive end and prevent the layup. Costas all the way in. A nice little finger roll. Pacing? The pace of the game, yeah. but also it just... You know, it, it puts, in my opinion, a little more emphasis on the free throw. Servetus with a nice back cut gets the layup off a, off a good assist. And he gets a rebound right away to start the fast break. Now Jones, got a big man on him. He'll stop and go move, reverse lay in. That was nice, Will. Fort Wayne will push it the other way. Queen to Brooks to Anderson. Try to go inside, but pass knocked away. Bradshaw winds up with an easy one. Nobody grabbed the ball, so then it left it. An easy pickup for the Mad Ants, and then just an easy pass for the layup. Nick King hits the three and also a foul. Tries to kick it ahead to Gabe York. Saves it cross court to Eli Brooks. We've seen him make that shot at Michigan, and that's nothing but net from the corner. <laughs> yes, Windy sir. evening indoors, in yeah. Chicago land. Indoors, <laughs> right. You know, we're talking about the fact that uh, Fort Wayne is lighting up the three-point range. 12 for 20 for 60%. Henry Drell with that dunk there now. Ethan Thompson way out front, going into the paint on Queen. Gets him up in the air, gets the bucket and a foul. Nice move in the post, good shot fake. The lane comes to a nice little jump stop. Boom, ball fake, gets Queen up into the air, jumps into Queen. There's Kostas again trying to set that high screen. Carly Jones is trying to save the ball. Terry throws it right to Queen. He'll go, oh, he throws it with the finger roll for Windy City. Ethan Thompson converted a free throw earlier. Windy City still perfect from the charity stripe. Carly Jones strong to the hoop. Nice little backhand layup, and Tom Hankins says, hold on a minute. Experience that, I'm sure, in your career. Yeah, I mean, I think my rookie year, I think I played like a total of 182 minutes. Yeah. I wish you know, there would have been a G League around at that time. Justin Anderson challenged himself with a little short arm on the 8-footer. He shot the 8-footer shot the six feet. As Justin Anderson is starting to heat up. He goes strong to the basket. He gets the runner to go and a foul, and all of a sudden that big 13-point lead starting to dissipate. All right, Carly Jones goes off the iron no good, and we'll push it back the other way. Queen he says, why not? I've got 18, now i got 21. He well, can shoot it. Whoa, somebody opened the door that came up a little bit short. The gust of wind got that one as Gabe York will fire for three. This Mad Ants team can just unload from three-point range. They had, he had an def initial defender on him, and they had a double stunting, which then forced him to hesitate. And there's Queen. Wow. <laughs> He's feeling himself now. Queen, nice pass to oh. cutting Anderson. He blows the layup. Now he gets the steal. Drell with an ill-advised pass up the middle of the floor. We should have tried to throw it over the top yeah. of the defense instead of trying to throw a bounce pass. Now Justin Anderson, the veteran, the lefty three. They got to tighten up their defense at the three-point line. Nice pass underneath. David Stockton gets the layup. Everyone looked expecting Servitas to shoot it. This whole Mad, Mad Ants is on a heater now in this quarter. Ethan Thompson coming off the bench trying to restore some offense. He gets the 17-foot jumper to go. Ethan not as effective, only 29% from distance. 26% now. Good drive by Carly Jones. He gets the left-handed layup to go. Off the floor, can you take advantage of it? Freeman Liberty over to Nick King. Ethan Thompson for three. That's good. Ethan Thompson continuing his strong game. There you go. Minute to go in quarter number three. Thompson on the attack finds King. Nice lefty scoop reverse layup. Windy City back in. At this point, if the uh, people listening understand why I go silent, it's because I'm going to be eating. There you go. That makes perfect sense to me. You know, my mom always told me it's rude to talk with your mouth full. Four red shirts underneath the glass, and Malcolm Hill will bring it up court for the Bulls. And now here's another situation. you got numbers. Take it to the rim. Exactly. Nice job by Malcolm Hill. That shot's no good. Henry Drell with the rebound for the Bulls. Out ahead to Malcolm Hill. He's got the smaller Stockton ahead of him. Step through a move for the layup and a foul. Stockton can't believe it. You know, use his leverage as a smaller player to his advantage. And Jerry Sloan ran that play all the time, where Stockton would go into the paint and set a screen for Carl Malone as we get a big dunk inside by Freeman Liberty. Coming out of that timeout now, they've scored four straight. It's, it's Bulls really need a bucket now or something to maybe actually get to the free throw line as well. They go to their power guard in the post. <laughs> Carly Jones lays it in. And got it all the way to the rim. Good hands defensively by Malcolm Hill to knock that pass away. Henry Drell to step through, overlays it. Javon Freeman Liberty. Right now, 
near the top of the NB or the G League Central Division. Another turnover. Ethan Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty alert. That he gets the ball back. That should have been goaltending because he's grasped the rim. Bulls get three out of a possible four points, which they'll gladly take to extend the lead to 11. Nice crossover move by Justin Anderson, and that's the best revenge. You go on the other end and you get a chance for a three-point play. You have 6-5 yeah. and under lead. Yeah. Carleek Jones with a nice finish. Increase the lead to 10. MJ. Oh! The high-flying Trevlin Queen. He is putting on quite an exhibition. Windy City can come up with a close, entertain the fans here at Now Arena with a home court victory. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Coast is double team. Dishes inside to Henry Drell. Lays it in with the left hand. Yeah, that hasn't affected his effort. That time he comes in from the backside, dives on the floor. Gets Henry the Drell the goes run to the hoop. He gets the finish and a foul. Henry Drell's been very impressive tonight. But he should be thanking Costas for the ability to get the steal on the other end. But Drell's done a nice job. 52 seconds. Pressure in the backcourt by the Mad Ants. They forgot about Nick King. And he's able to lay it in. That's the way you break the press, Will. Not soundly, but beat him handily um, last week. And Justin Anderson just holding it out front, knowing they had no chance to get the victory. Henry Drell wanted to shake his hand, and Justin said, forget it.